Absicons. You saying? Up. What were you doing next with the hair? Hello, no, no, yeah, my car. No, you, have, no. you, you what? No, I'm joking. No, nah, nah, you spent time on yeah, that, man. Yeah, I was locked down, so I ain't, I ain't going. It ain't going. Yeah. It's looking good though, man. Yeah, it's, I think it's giving you the power, bro. I hope so. Because you've been doing, you've been, doing, I hope so. you've been scoring some goals, don't, you know. Don't, don't jinx it. All right, all right, all right, all right. What are you saying, bro? Hey, I don't do interviews. I just go for babies and play football. <laughs> Where are the ladies at, man? No, man, I'm done. Nah, man. I'm out of the game, I'm out of the game. Nah. You, I'm out of the game. Hey, you can't run away from your problems. How you doing? Yo, you said. No, nah, I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. How's, I'm how's good. things been? Yeah, not too bad. How's life treating you? Yeah, good. Yeah? Can't I heard you've been playing a lot of football. I have, but to be fair, the last couple of weeks I haven't. Ah, yeah, so work, busy. Work is... <laughs> work is working. Work is sorry, <laughs> yeah, man, looking forward to today. Bro. Yeah. Bro, COVID and injuries have like, messed us up today. But yeah, we've got six, six starters out, but it is what it is. We're hearing and the people that are here, hopefully good enough to do their job. Uh, Hold on, give me the camera, though. Leave yeah. Me Hold on, again. How are you doing? I'm all right. Obviously, people don't know, they'll probably learn whilst they're watching this. Today is obviously your last game in charge. How are you feeling? Um, uh, I would say it's bittersweet, but... The word is emotional. It's okay. Go for it. <laughs> you can cry. I would say bittersweet. No, you know what I miss more than anything is, is just being with the lads. That's yeah. what I miss more than anything. Um, through lockdown, through that whole period, even just being on WhatsApp or anything like that. Um, just chatting to the lads. Like I said, things like that helped mental health through lockdown so I appreciate it and every day every time coming out here on a Sunday or well, today's a weekday um, the lads are always having a laugh you know we go through some we go through some few bad times <laughs> but when we do you know we bounce back and, and everyone's still on the same the same page and yeah I, I'll, I'll miss it I don't I don't never gonna say never to ever be in to come back we never asked you to uh, <laughs> nah I um, wanna I want to personally thank you for all the work you've done. I'm sure everyone watching the video who has followed us will also say, will also thank you. We will miss you and thank you, man. And obviously you're not going anywhere. You're just not managing no more. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Sunday League Football with ourselves, Sporting Continental. It's been a long, long, long time. I would like to apologize. Life has been a little bit crazy. But from now on, we are back week in, week out. No breaks. Again, today we are back with a very special episode. Should have been out a long time ago, to be completely honest. It's a cup final between ourselves and Swag. It won't go on for too long, but if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, leave a comment down below, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. And without much further ado, let's get through the starting lineup. So, in goal for us in the cup final, playing his last game for the club, is number one, is Mr. Sam Singer Ripley. At left back, we've got none other than Terry Obeng. Centre backs, as always, we've got Hugo and we've got Juppy. At right back is VJ. In the middle of the park, we've got number six, Zach Powell, number 30, Darren, and on the 10, Brendan. On the left, we've got the skipper, Matt Drage. On the right, getting a start is Alvin Waters, and up front is Sir Dan Hughes. We have four players on the bench today. However, you know the usual. Not everyone's got a picture. We've got Kai, we've got Lewis, we've got Daniel Grant, and we've also got Bennett. And the gaffer for the very last time is the Badger. So this is the Marcus Lipton Cup final. This game took place on the 5th of August. 
100 teams started out in this competition. We are now down to two ourselves and swag we have played swag once before and they did beat us by four goals to one we had 10 men for about 75 minutes to be fair however they punished us and put us to the sword we'll be looking for a different outcome from today's game however we know it's going to be a very very tough test swagger a very very good team before this cup final they had another final which they won so they'll be looking to do the double but without further ado let's get going Ball here on the right hand side with that guy, he plays it forward to nobody in particular and his Juppie is going to clear it up the line looking for Dan but the centre back does well to bring it down, he sprays it out wide but he only finds the touch line. So on the 8th minute we've got a free kick from an offside I believe and Juppie sends it forward and it's Drage winning the header, Darren's in behind here, takes a touch, he's in the box, he gets a shove in the back, that's got to be a penalty, the referee says no, apparently Darren went down looking for it, according to the ref. But, you know, the move. VJ with a throw over the far side and it's going to be headed forward by a swag player and Brendan is going to hoof it, <laughs> he's mishit this and he's gone all the way back to Sam, Sam's going to pick it up, referee blows the whistle and he says that was an intentional back pass. So Swag here with a very good opportunity to take the lead. Obviously indirect free kick. They're going to fake the first one to try and catch us out. And he takes it. He has a shot and he tries to curl it. And he's missed the target. Swag with the ball over the far side, looking to attack against our right back. They're getting behind, get across into the box, but he gets taken out by Alvin. And it's a free kick in a good area. So the Swag player is going to try and send this one into the box. Alvin jumps. They're claiming for a handball. I'll be honest, on the day, I definitely thought that was a handball. And we look to break here, and it's Alvin driving down the wing. He tries to square it. He finds Dan. Dan tries to set this one off to Darren. The flag goes up. Let's have a look at this handball again. I'm going to slow it down. I know the camera moved. Like I said, on the day, I thought it was a handball. It's hard to tell there, but for me, it was a definite handball, to be honest. Swag with another free kick in a similar position to the last one. They're going to send this one into the box. The ball goes up. He's head that one over the bar. It's a throw for us on this near side, then it's taken into Brendan. Brendan plays it to Zach. Zach plays it to Darren. Darren sets it off to Brendan. Brendan tries to dance in between two players. He gets crowded out by the swag defense. Good defending, to be fair. Number four with the ball over this near side, then he punches it inside to this guy who's got the absolute freedom of the park. And they play it into this number nine. And he's going to get a shot off, and it's going to be a good save by Sam. This guy should have been given offside. I think he's gone for the ball there, but... Lino doesn't give it and it ends up here with the number four and he sets it back to so this guy has a shot and he's saved by Sam. It's a good save. He's tipped it onto the bar and it's a corner for Swag. Corner came to nothing but Swag are back on the ball. The ball's played inside to this number four. It's got to be said that they have been the better side to be honest. Look, look how easy it is for them to drive through us there. No effort to close him down at all and the ball's out here out wide and this guy going past out trying to go past Alvin. Alvin intercepts it and blocks it and he's coming forward here with the ball still driving no one really showing for him and that sums up our day to be honest he gives the ball away to the number seven i think it was and this guy space to turn and he just plays it out to this number four where pretty much oh my god whoa that's a very good attempt to be honest but not good enough from us and again more swag pressure and they've got the ball and they're gonna pump this one into our box and he wins the header 
Sam punches it away. He was on side there, just free everybody open for swag. We've not turned up at all, and it's Alvin on the ball, and he kicks it off this guy, and we get a throw. We're gonna need to wake up at some point, or else we could be in real, real trouble. Watch, 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 watch. Sam throws the ball out to Zach. Okay. Zach plays it inside to Brendan. Brendan is going to roll it here to Terry. Terry's going to get his head down, trying to make something happen. He's going to play it over the top in behind. And Darren's in here. Finally, we get something to go. Darren puts it across the face of goal, but there's no one there. Dan held on to the penalty spot. And Darren put it across the face of goal. VJ with a throw to Zach. Zach tries to play it into the feet of Alvin, but it's intercepted. And it falls to Brendan here. But he's decided to... Aim for the pigeon that shot on his car earlier. From the goal kick. Just admire how Swag play football over here in this area. They play it out wide into the left back. And he's going to play this one forward into the left mid. Plays it back to the left back. Left back is then going to play it to the centre forward. And he's going to just back heel it. And this no one's following the runners here to be honest. And he's going to cut inside the Hugo. Wrong foots him. Juppie comes through. Referee deems that a foul. To be fair, it probably was, and it's in a dangerous area for Swag. Now, they've gone close with a free kick before, but that one was an indirect one. This one is a direct free kick. And I'll tell you what, it gets it over the wall and it's into the back of the net, and Swag have taken the lead, and we've fallen behind here. It's a good free kick, it's a good goal, and Swag, to be honest, deserved that goal. Let's have a look at it from a different angle. He steps up and he takes it. I think, I hope I'm not being too tough here, but I think Sam's got to get there. He's practically standing where the ball went in. He gets a hand to it as well. But if we're being completely honest, Swag absolutely deserved that goal. We've not turned up and hopefully that wakes us up. Throw by VJ takes it into Brendan. Brendan is going to then play it out to the side to Terry. And Terry's going to try and have a shot here. It takes a deflection. It goes over the bar and we get a corner. Corner came to nothing and a swag back on the attack over the far side. And it's thrown into the centre forward and he sets it back to the left back. And he gets a cross across the face of goal. And Terry lets the ball run and this guy has a shot. And he's probably should at least hit the target there. That's gone miles wide. And with that, the referee is going to blow the half-time whistle. We have not shown up at all. Let's hope for a better second half. Can't get much worse than this, can it? So Swag kick off the second half here and they'll be looking to pick up where they left off in that first half. They absolutely dominated in all areas of the game and they deserve to go in at the half by 1-0 up to be fair if not more and here you see they're on the ball they're comfortable on the ball the number nine playing it back to the number eight number eight's gonna get a touch on it back to the center back and he's gonna spray this one out wide is intercepted by terry terry plays it forward can't really see where the ball's gone yet to be honest and the ball ends up here with darren i think and it gets brought down but it's a goal kick Jumpy on the ball and he plays it forward to lewis Lewis plays it to Drage, not really being able to get him into the game at all. When the ball goes here to Terry, and Terry looks to go over the top. By the way, we've done this at least a thousand times in this game. And Brendan picks up the second. The ball's played here to Zach. Zach plays it back to Brendan. Brendan gets clipped there, and we get a free kick in a very good area. Both Drage and Brendan standing over the ball. Brendan picks it up there, just readjusts it. I think it's him that's going to take it. He steps up, he gets it over the wall. I'll tell you what, that did not look too far off. So here you see, unfortunately, Lewis going down injured. He hasn't actually played a game for us since the first game of the season. And this was him making his return. He was injured to begin with, but we move on. Juppie receiving the ball from Hugo. Juppie is going to spread it over the top. And it's just going to go all the way through to the swag right back and he tries to play it inside and Kai who's been very impressive in preseason unfortunate to miss out on a starting place there intercepting the ball's played here to Drage Drage looking for Darren over the top the ball ends up with Kai he has a shot it's deflected but it goes into the keeper's hands the swag keeper is going to send this one up in the air 
Jumpy's gonna win the header. Zach. <sighs> I don't even know. The number eight here is gonna come away with the ball for Swag. And he's gonna play this one inside where there is nobody to cover, to be honest. And the ball gets played out wide. The flag stays down. He gets across across the face of goal. Terry gets a touch. They get a shot. It gets deflected off Terry and over Sam and Swag have extended their lead and it's 2-0 to swag and we've now got a mountain to climb this is pretty much a lesson on how to not defend if I'm completely honest the number eight plays it inside and there there's just no one there and the ball gets played out wide and he puts it across the face of goal Terry struggling to get there on the stretch and he takes a deflection over Sam who dives with absolute not a chance of getting there it's a big deflection of Terry, but Swag have extended their lead. And they look like they're on their way to a cup double. Free kick for us over the far side. Then Brendan goes over and he plays it to Drage. Drage plays it back over the top to Brendan. Brendan launches this one into the box and is headed out as far as Dan. Dan hangs this one up in the air and is and Alvin challenging for it. Gets it a header into it, but keeper gathers it well. On the camera. So we have a corner here and I've just zoomed the camera in because there was people's heads in the way. So you can't see the corner taker. It's a good ball into the box and Bennett wins the initial header. And it falls to Darren on his strong left foot. And he's put that one over the bar. Got a free kick over the far side. I think our cameraman Brandon has been put to sleep by our terrible performance because he forgets to follow it. But it's Drage and he sends it into the box to Brandon. Brandon sends it back to Alvin. Alvin with a delicious looking cross and it's Bennett with a header. That's a very good chance to be honest, but he's headed that straight into the swag keeper's arms. Kai takes a heavy touch here and it's a superb tackle by the swag midfielder and the ball's going to end up here on this left hand side. He's going to have a shot and it's going to go straight into the hands of Sam. Hugo's going to turn on the ball here and he's going to play it out wide into the feet of Alvin. Alvin chops inside, kind of gets caught under his feet. But he gets a ball over the top, over the far side for Darren to chase. The swag number five gets a touch to it and Dan is challenging. And there's a double slide here by Swag. And Bennett could be in here. It's a ball by Drage and he gets a shot on it. And it's a fantastic save by the goalkeeper. That's two very good chances in quick successions. And here you see Juppie on the ball and he's going to punch this one into Drage. No time for him. He tries to set it off first time into VJ. But the ball gets played over the far side and Swag now have numbers. And they play a 1-2 over there past Juppie. The ball ends up with this guy and he has a shot. He probably should have squared that. If he squares that, that's a tap in and the game is over. Ball on this near side. I think we've got a throw and it's thrown into to Drage. And he tries to play it out wide to VJ, but he gets a touch. And look at this for a tackle by Kai. Love it. The ball ends up here with Bennett and he plays it forward looking for... Dan and Dan driving forward. Darren wanted it played. Dan does not play it to him. He plays it out wide here to Alvin instead. Alvin's going to float this one into the box. But there's no one really there. And the ball's going to end up here with Brendan. Brendan is going to set off to Drage. Drage plays it back to Brendan. Brendan is in behind here. Could cross it first time. Didn't. Comes inside instead. He puts this one across the face of goal. Why are we not attacking that? So 96 minutes on the clock and the referee is going to blow the full-time whistle. Congratulations to Swag. They've had a fantastic COVID interrupted season. They have won the cup double. We finished the season trophyless. Not what we wanted, but we've got to pick ourselves up and go again. This is football. It happens. It's how you bounce back. And if we're being completely honest, Swag absolutely deserved it today. Congratulations to them. Commiserations to us. But as always, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, leave a comment down below, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and we'll see you next week with a league game.